What's up everybody, Sebastian here. And I thought I'd do a tiny update of me in the gym because I know that's what you wanted to see. And like that you have a bad idea how my checklist is and what I bring with me in the gym, how I equip myself, how I organize myself. And I'm also gonna be telling you a few workout tips, you know, since I'm in the gym here on a treadmill so yeah so you can get some insight of me and know and be motivated how like how I do it etc okay so let me firstly run down the checklist okay of what's in store for today okay so um this is how my checklist my gym checklist looks like okay wait let me see if it focuses see what right here so this is my checklist okay and basically um Right here, so this is the time I have to work out today from 1 till 3 30. Okay, I came like 15 minutes late because uh, they were having lunch, so I had to wait until they arrived, you know, to open the door. So, but I came in like 1 10. So, look, I have to do three miles on the treadmill in one hour and 45 minutes. Okay, um, and right now I'm at 1.95 miles so yeah i still have two uh, one and a half mile to go a bit more than one and a half i know about you know one more mile about. okay um so then uh, basically like i brought my pen with me so i brought a pen and so once i'm finished this workout then I'll put an X right here and X right here because that's the time that I managed to do it in one hour and 45 minutes. And then here, my second workout, what I need to do is I need to lift dumbbells, okay? So today I'm gonna be doing lift five pounds. Lift it 30 times, so I have to lift five pounds 30, 30 times okay so once I do that then I'll put an X here okay and, and then after that I have to lift 10 pounds 20 times I have to lift once I do that I put an X here okay then when I um, lift 15 pounds I have to do 15 times and then I put an X here okay and then 20 pounds I have to lift 10 times, then I put an X here, okay? So, once I do this time, this one here, okay, this first line, after I do the treadmill, then it says, okay, drink before repeating. So then, I need to drink, okay? Which I have here and here. Always bring lots of water when you work out, okay? And then, once I do that, I put an X, okay? And then, I follow the same structure again. Lift five pounds. 30 times, I put an X on the second one. Lift 10 pounds 20 times, I put an X here. Um, lift 15 pounds 15 times, I put an X here. And then lift 20 pounds 10 times, I put an X here, okay? And then, of course, I'll drink again. So, this has to do twice, okay? And like, so, for example, like the reason why I do five pounds, lift 30 times, and then 10 pounds 20 times, 15, 15, and 20 pounds, 10 times, because you see, it's very, very important when you work out, it's like, you know, you start off light, okay, and then during time you do heavier and less reps, okay, it's better for the muscles, and um, when you do that, it's like, you're going to be hurting less, okay, you're going to be hurting way less. One second. So, basically, so that's that. And then after that, um, 
don't worry about the two. It's like, you know, I put that, I shouldn't have printed this two. It's kind of like more, a bit disorganized, but you know, it's very important to follow the period, okay? So after that, okay, I have to do shoulders for three minutes, okay? So, the reason why, so what the shoulder work I does is, is to get muscles in the back, which is very, very important to me, because, you know, I haven't been working out those much, okay? So, there I decide to do just three minutes, okay? So there, um, when I do this workout, for example, then I will put the time on. So then, look, for example, when you time yourself, very important, you put the time, okay? In your app here, stopwatch. You can put, you put your time, okay? You know, etc. Okay. Fuck. Here. Okay. Here. So then, here I use the time. Okay. And then I do the biceps. The machine is the biceps. I do for two minutes, and triceps three minutes. And then the other one, <laughs> it's another machine. You know. So it's like there. You know, I just choose another machine because you know there's so much machines here. You know, I just to the machine there okay so basically um, then we have uh, I have to do left legs three minutes okay here so the reason why I put the left three minutes at the end is because you know what well, here I'm already working out my legs okay and then I decided you know what since my legs need a, a tiny rest okay after this hectic workout which is the jogging, you know. Then it's like, you know, I don't, okay, I need a rest, you see. So then I decide to do the legs at the end. Um, so yeah, um, so now for my treadmill here, okay. Why three miles in one hour and a half? The reason for that is because I am do like walking with my flip-flops at the moment because I have a blister, you see? And, um, you know, when I wear my different shoes, the, the blister is from, because I wear the other day five miles on the treadmill with shoes on. So it's like, you know, I don't really like being in socks and shoes when I have a blister. And I, and I need, you know, since I sweat a lot, you see, I prefer my body to like, experience the air, you know, and it's more freeing and way easier, you know. So it's like, I tell you, never let anyone tell you, don't wear flip-flops when you work out. And um, you need to wear shoes. Never listen to that person, never. Because people will tell you, oh, you can go to the gym today um, if you wear flip-flops. No, never listen to that person. I encourage you, wear flip-flops. Um, flip-flops is better than, um, <laughs> Then barefoot, okay, wear flip-flops. I encourage you to wear flip-flops. And it works, check this out. Even flip-flops, I'm walking, okay. When I'm off, you know, um, off camera, you know, so I'm jogging a bit faster, you know, like at four, five, six, seven miles per hour, and then I regulate it, okay, you see. Um, but like, I just can't run really fast, because I have this camera and I don't want to fall. Um, so basically, um, how you want to um, manage long distance on the treadmill is that you want to pace yourself, okay? So for example, at the beginning, let's say for example, you set a goal, okay, I want to run four miles in one hour, okay? You want to pace yourself, okay? So then for example, you want to see what here, you want to you wanna start slow, like maybe at one mile per hour, okay? And then it's like at one mile per hour, you know, you want to walk like for three minutes, one mile, okay? And then when you, I mean, <laughs> for three minutes, I mean 0 0.10 miles, okay? Um, so then that will help is like, it will get your body more warmed up, okay? So then it's like when you feel, oh, actually I'm comfortable at this pace, okay? Then you want to accelerate it here, okay? You want to accelerate it here, see? Um, that's how to pace yourself, like better, see? Um, so then, for example, one time you want to maybe, you said, okay, I'm going to stay at 
three miles per hour, like for one minute or something, okay? And you wanna see, these are like gold standards, okay? You wanna see, look at these here all the time, okay? Like you can, for example, I want to say, say, okay, I'm gonna accelerate from three miles to five miles for like five minutes, you see? And you wanna stick at that goal, you stick at that goal, okay, you see? You do, when you're on the treadmill in life in general, you want to set tiny milestones wherever you are, checklists whenever you are, and, and really keep yourself organized, okay? Because in school, they do not teach you how to or time manage your time correctly or how to set goals. They do not teach you this here, okay? Even when you study set milestones, tiny milestones, when you study your driving license, when you go in the gym, if you want a girlfriend, you know, you want to sit on a check, okay, I'm going to put five girls today, or I'm going to, I'm going to do this workout routine today, you know, I want, oh, I'm going to study my driving license, you see, you need to checklist it, checklist it, or when you want to diet, checklist it, you see, and it's very important, very, very important, people never, and it never and as you know here we're winners we are winners on this channel okay and like here like I want you to go next level shit next level okay um so yeah this video is gonna be like 20 minutes long because since I have a 32 gigabyte uh, memory stick I can only film 20 minutes until my camera died, you see? So this is gonna be like a 20 minute uncut video of me on the treadmill. Um, so, yeah. So basically, um, so what else do you wanna bring with to the gym when you work out, okay? So, uh, very important, have your towel, okay? Your towel, you'll, you'll always be sweating, okay? Um, now, lots of people, they don't bring a towel because they just, they quit when they're tired, okay? I'm tired right now. I'm not gonna lie, I'm tired. I'm not gonna quit. I have a goal here. See? So, if you want a towel, okay? Next thing what you wanna do, when you want a treadmill, bring water, as much water as possible, and make sure it's cold before leaving. Make sure you put the water in your fridge, okay? So it's nice and cold. You have your water, make sure you bring a pen, checklist, and you also like, these are like, because in this gym here, you have like wipes here, you know? It's like when you're sweating, like, usually it's to like, um, wash the machines later, but it's like I use them like, just the more fresh, you know? And then what else, um, you know, my bag's there. Have some other stuff in here, and yeah, it's just amazing. I'm I'm so grateful having this opportunity to work out in the gym. Um, I'm just so grateful in life. I I'm grateful, I, and our body loves workout. You know, your brain might think, I don't want to go to the gym. I don't want to. I want to stay home and sleep. But you know, you need to push yourself. You know, you need to force your brain to go to the gym. You know, your brain won't help you to go to the gym. You need to force yourself to go to the gym. You need to go against your emotions, okay? And um, you need to do the extra mile, push yourself. It's very important, very, very important. Um, and because like oh, your brain, if you say, I'm not going to the gym today, your brain will be, your, your brain will be fully all right. Your brain will be fully all right with that. You cannot accept that. Don't accept that. But you're going to sell in mediocrity. And I told yesterday, like, how I wake up, like, very, very excited and very, very um, energetic and better shape because, like, I've been working in the gym, you know. And some people, they might only say, like, one hour in, like one hour or half an hour in the gym. No, like I'm just at the beginning of my workout and like here I am 42 minutes on the treadmill and I haven't eaten. this is like just my store. I still have all of this to do. 
so yeah, I gotta say, oh my gosh, this is, I hope I'm with you, you like, you know, I'm just starting my workout cycle to begin. Uh, why pay 20 euro, 20 dollars for a week if you're just gonna stay 30 minutes in the treadmill, uh, in the gym, for they know. You wanna stay long, very long. And I gotta be honest, yesterday I did not go to work out because I didn't feel like it. I kind of fell into some excuses and when I ate pizza instead, I was kind of very tired, you know. But so today I promised myself I'm not letting that happen to me again. And it's like when you write it down on the paper, okay. It's, uh, it's gonna be, it's like, it's like signing a contract that you're gonna achieve. It's like signing yourself a contract and you cannot bail out. You know, it's like the more you, it's like you study your workout routine, you study it and you make it very tangible in your brain that I'm not gonna bail out and I'm gonna succeed, okay? I'm gonna succeed. Um, so yeah, <laughs> this is such a, a great gym. They have all of the machines, I love it here. I love it. So yeah, um, theoretically I can, I can post every single day a workout video till the July, June 28th, okay? I can post a video every day on gym, okay? Because you know, I know you love gym videos. But you know, I also don't really want to do it on gym. I just want to do on other stuff, you know. What else? Oh shoot. My paper went off once again. I cannot let that happen. I have to keep my weight on shoot. Whew. This, this cannot happen. Not good. I will just pick it up after it works. So yeah, <laughs> just the, the beginning of my workout. Yeah, so basically, I'm gonna be uploading every single day some workout videos. Um, and like, for example, let's say, for example, I film another video, like, where I left, okay? I'm gonna let you know that it was from today, the, June 26, 2019, because today we're June 26, 2019, so let's say for example, I film today again, um, this, like, for example, lift this here, you know, where I lift, okay, that would be also posted today, okay, so it's like, you might see like a few videos from today, who I can, you know, and then tomorrow I can do like the same, you know, to really motivate you. I'm not guaranteed that I'm gonna do it that. You know, because like, I have to find, I need to find a place to put my camera, set my camera up. I don't want much people to see me, you know, filming, because, you know, I don't want to get in trouble, but I would try my best, okay? Um, what else? Yeah. And you, some people, they might think this is these are pyjama pants, but I do not care at all. I do not care what society thinks of me, of how I look in the gym, I do not care at all. Oh, they might be, oh, Sebastian's wearing flip flops, oh, Sebastian's wearing pajama pants, I do not care at all. Because I feel comfortable in them. And that's what I all recommend all of you. Um, do what makes you feel comfortable. And like, stop caring so much what others think of you. Like, they do not care. They do not give a damn what I, what I wear, you know. <laughs> They do not they give a damn what you wear. Like, just start caring what they think of you. Do what makes you happy. And like, let's check this out. And when we really stop caring what they think of me. Us. Like, some people might be, oh my gosh, don't wear flip flops. Oh, don't wear the pyjama pants. Like, it's like, it makes me the most happy. You know, it makes, it'll make yourself the most happy when you do what you want and when you stop caring what others think of you. That's my best advice I can give here. <laughs> so, yeah, I'm gonna end this video soon because when I was almost 20 minutes, 
and I'm almost done with my first section of my workout. Well, I covered it in under an hour easily because here, one hour 45, and here it's like I'm already here. So, that's gonna be very, very great. It's like the phone is very important, like in the gym, like you can put on your Wi Fi. And you know, when for example you do a lower pace on the treadmill, you know, you can just go on your phone and check like how much miles is in kilometers because in Belgium we use kilometers and not miles. So, like, that's very nice. And yeah, and don't forget your charger, your thing to charge your phone, etc., etc., etc. Okay, so I hope you enjoyed my YouTube video. I hope this really helped you out to give an insight of how my brain is in the gym and um, to encourage you to do the extra mile uh, workout and I hope I really have to have to like motivate you to go out there and work out on your body on your mind never give up and I hope I help you out to to give an insight of how I do the list okay and I also hope that I have you, you know like showing you how it's possible to really push yourself in the gym on the machine while I'm <laughs> working out, okay? So I hope you enjoyed my YouTube video. I hope this really, really helped you out. Feel free to drop a like, comment, subscribe, share with, with your friends if you enjoyed, and peace out.